are worth more than what they put as a value on their time. So even spending where maybe we hadn't before can end up being a great idea. Um, we've talked about this on the channel before that doing things like mowing your own lawn or doing uh, your own house cleaning, those things can easily be outsourced to people for a fraction of what you're probably worth. It's a fraction of what they're worth too, but they're choosing that career. So I find people, uh, I have somebody that comes once per week now, cleans my residence uh, and does so for $15 per hour. My time is worth far more than $15 an hour. Uh, and so if I can uh, obviously delegate that responsibility to her, I'm able to then dedicate my time to things that are a lot more valuable than spending that couple hours each week um, cleaning and uh, and scrubbing the floors. So uh, that's that's really an, that's an important part of this. That sometimes uh, what we're saving is our time, and our time being so incredibly valuable uh, that that in many ways allows us to increase our cash flow more than anything else because we have availability to go out there and influence our earnings far more than we otherwise would have. All right, so I always like to give resources because you know conceptualization is great, but it only gets you so far. So what would be some great resources then for outsourcing and being able to delegate some of these projects you shouldn't be doing for yourself? Or maybe you don't even feel qualified enough to do them for yourself. Uh, first and foremost, I think almost everybody starts with Craigslist when they're doing a search. If they want any type of a service, if they want help with something, start with Craigslist. Um, it's very inexpensive, obviously, to post. You don't necessarily get that professional look and feel. And of course, the major downside to Craigslist is you don't necessarily see the ratings of people you're working with. So got to be safe about it. Make sure you're meeting people in a public space. But we've had unbelievable luck at hiring people, meeting some of the best folks that we still continue to work with year after year from Craigslist. So I always recommend starting there. Secondly, I have fallen in love over the last four or five years with Fiverr.com. We talked about Fiverr in a previous episode. Fiverr is uh, spelled like the number five with two R's attached at the end. And Fiverr is basically people all over the world that are willing to share their expertise regarding any type of marketing, any type of technology, coding, website, social media work, brand maximization. So. Fiverr is where these folks will, will start with this at a base price of $5 and up. So you can get some really phenomenal value uh, from that investment. And we've now used that for over 450 projects uh, and continue to use it every single week, several times a week. We have been recently introduced to a couple of additional um, delegation websites, sites where you can outsource the work that you need done. Uh, those websites include Task Bullet and Task Rabbit. We've recently made an investment into Task Bullet, and I don't have a lot of feedback for that yet, but one that I would definitely recommend exploring on your own as well. It gets great feedback. Uh, and essentially, you can buy people's time for anywhere between six to twelve dollars per hour, depending on the bucket of hours that you're purchasing. So, uh, we're going to explore that with about a five hundred dollar upfront investment and see how it returns for us. Uh, but certainly we're anxious to see just how, uh, how well this works out. And then that task rabbit is one that I just can't speak too much because I'm not overly familiar, but it's one that has recently hit the radar. Uh, it seems to be a very popular site. If you want some type of manual service provided, any type of labor, um, it can be a terrific alternative to, to Craigslist. So again, delegate the time that you can pay somebody less than what you're worth uh, so that you can free up more of your energy and resources in order to go out and earn, increase that earning potential to drive that cash flow higher. So guys, if you want more great tips, make sure you check out all the videos on this channel. If you want us to continue to create on this topic, make sure you hit that like button. I want to hear your stories as well. So if you have any experiences yourself, please make sure you comment below. And guys, 
We welcome you to the channel, of course. Uh, if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing. We have lots of contests coming up, and that's how you stay eligible. So we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until that one, make it a great day and take care.